Hey everyone, it's Jeremy. Welcome back to Baldur's Gate. This is episode 79, and we are exploring Candlekeep. Um, and when I say exploring Candlekeep, I mean we're checking all of the bookshelves and uh, being very suspicious of who is and who is not a doppelganger. Your image, nice. Are you really Branwen? Tell me again for the thousandth time, please. Oh my god, move out of the way, Ajantus. With Helm's blessing. Oh, this game. Yep. I swear. And I swear. Ooh, an acid arrow. Oh, you bet. Oh, there's Coveris. You need something, stranger. Oh, oh, oh! He's coming for us! He's coming for us! No, no, no. Ah! Ah! I thought I might find you somewhere around here. Allow me to introduce myself. Please do. My name is Coveris. I used to work for your father, running messages to his Harper friends in Waterdeep. Before he passed on, he entrusted this ring to me and asked that I give it to you. Should evil ever befall him, will you take it? And what evil befell him, Coveris? You were there. You saw it all. A woman, an armored... How did you see it all? A woman, an armored figure, two ogres wielding clubs, and two archers. But Gorion's petty magic was of little use against them, was it not? And you, you fled with your tail between your legs, hiding amidst the trees until dawn broke. And now it comes full circle, doesn't it? The Iron Throne is so close that you can almost touch them and wreak your revenge for that night. You're right, Kaveras. I was there. Myself, my father, and six others who tried to kill us. Where were you if you know so much? If you be so void of trust, I am surprised you have made it thus far. It is of little matter. Go seek your vengeance or your doom at the hand of the Iron Throne. I wash my hands of it. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I, I do not remember what that ring does at all, but I can assume that it is not good stuff. Alright. Little bit more of a round of stuff to check. I'm actually just gonna Need me? Right. grab... Put everyone there. Run her through these spots real quick. Aha! A luck spell. How lucky. Hey, another luck spell. Shadowdale 2. she actually have okay she does as in the darts on her to do things oh, you bet. all right go up here and check what's going on my 
ah, there's, there's Rieltar. My dear sir, you must realize that it is manners that make the gentleman. So would you kindly prove that you are one by leaving? The right people can afford to be rude, but this is not you. Leave now before my irate companion Brunos lets his temper get ahead of his reason. You're the leaders of the Iron Throne. We're the ones who have caused you so much trouble over the past weeks. We know what you're all about, and soon, so will Duke Elton. You're the- And you're stupid enough to admit this? Well, my young friend, you may find safety within the library, but once you've left there, will be no place for you to run. How about we just end all of our problems right here and now? Let's sort everything out with the sharp of our blades. This is most distasteful. I have always known that rudeness is how the weak make themselves look strong. Even if you were to somehow beat us in battle, how would you escape the keep? Or did you think the, that the monks would let you go about murdering everyone within their keep? Crash them, muttonheads, boys. Wait. So you lecture us over the concept, right, that the monks are just going to kill us? But... But then you're just gonna do it anyways? I mean, okay. Sure. Fine, if you say so. Ooh, goodness. Alright, well, that was a quick end. Time to load a game. Yep. All right, we will do a uh -huh. Actually Don't Let's just that. see if we do that. Fine, little ones. I'm sure we can expect to see you in the future. If not in person, then at least your heads. Hmm. Can I not fight them? I honestly don't know. So let's, uh, let's try a fighting them approach. We'll do some casting of some skelly bums. have a limited number of rounds, whereas the skeletons have eight hours on them. Like, fuck me. That's a fair comparison, right? I uh, will do a protection from evil. That's a pretty easy one. Okay, now we buff there. Gonna do buff here. Gonna do buff here. Going to do that. Uh, we'll give a jauntus like super. Does that actually give him super armor? Let's check. Let's watch. No, that basically did nothing for him. Gotcha. Okay, well now we know at least. Uh, Need me? Okay. That up, and we are going to do. Okay. Right. 
All right. Okie dokie. Alright, so... Come to find out when you spend three minutes fully buffing your party before running into a group of people, they all die. Um, in an exploding fashion. So, good to know. Drop something. Could you pick it up for me? Alright, what do we got? Potion of Clarity. Very cool. Um, Potion of Genius. Always good. Chainmail plus one. Don't think we could care less about that. Medium shield plus one. Don't think we give a shit. Morning star plus one. We definitely don't care. Dart of stunning. That's actually kind of interesting. Long sword plus one. We definitely don't care about. Protection scroll. We can't. Um. Cool. All right, we got another. Oops. Put that on that person. Another medium shield. We can sell that. A uh, potion of frost giant strength. Hell yeah! Nice. Frost giant strength sounds good. All right, cool. So. We actually got a level for Imowin on that, so let's go ahead and level her up. Uh, additional weapon proficiencies. Great. Uh, so we'll actually give her Dagger, which we did not have previously. Go back to the information. Uh, got some saves. Uh, a third level spell slot. No additional hit points. <laughs> Unfortunate. Okay, cool. So... That means we actually... Oh, we weren't using it anyway. Okay, cool. Uh, so, what was she... She was using... Uh, Elf's Minute me Meteors, which is probably still the best thing that... I mean, haste and ghost. No, ghost armor is not good. Spirit armor is good, but haste is also great. Um, well, maybe a haste spell. We'll we'll go. We'll stick with the melfs for now. All right. So that was uh, a kind of crazy fight. Oh, I did just save over the quick save, so it might be that the monks are just like freaked at us now. Who knows? Okay, so let's see how that goes. <laughs> it looks like it went not well. You've sullied your, sullied your father's name by defiling his home and bringing ruin to a peace that has lasted for centuries. I spit on you and all of your friends. Your transgressions will be punished in the most severe form. I formally accuse you of the murders of Brunos Kostak and Rieltar Anchev. 
Why have you accused me of such a thing? You were seen fleeing the site of the murder by the guest known as Coveras. Okay. From everything we have seen and found, it is not hard to figure what your purpose was. From what I have been told, you have been trying to place all the misfortune of the Sword Coast squarely on the shoulders of the Iron Throne. I assume you and your friends were assassins in the employ of Om. Wow, wild tale. Perhaps you were sent up north to create discord in the region before an Omnian invasion. Sent up north. I literally grew up here, bruh. It matters little. You and your friends are to be sent to Baldur's Gate where an appropriate punishment will be administered. Yes, that's gonna happen. Nathoral, hello, young one. I am sorry to see thee in such terrible circumstances. I know thee well enough to see that you have been falsely accused. Tomorrow, Ulrond will most likely sentence thee to be sent to Baldur's Gate. There, thou wouldst receive the death penalty for these actions. I know that Garion would not want to see his only child killed a scant few weeks after his own death. It is a favor to his memory that I help thee escape. Make thy way through the catacombs beneath the library, but disturb them not. I have your possessions with me. You must take them and go with haste. You know anyone by the name of Coveris? I know of no one named Coveris, but Coveris is the reverse of Saravak, a young man who accompanied the leaders of the Iron Throne when they first came. I know not where he has gone. It is now the time for you to go, Litia. I can teleport you to the secret room that leads to the catacombs. But from there, you are on your own. You must be careful within the catacombs, as there are many guardians and traps, perhaps whoever, perha and perhaps whoever planned these murders. However dangerous the catacombs may be, they are a safer alternative to Ulrond's wrath. Sounds good. Let's do it. Just dimension doored everyone. Shadow door, that sounds cool. I don't have that. I am proud to stand among such strong warriors. It's like a fake teleport spell. I feel like that sounds super cool, but it's in a game in a role-playing purpose, sure. But in a game like this, it's basically just an invisibility spell, right? Did that? Price. Let me spell. Did that count as a full rest? I. Ooh, monster summoning two. Interesting. Okay. Save. Oh, you bet. <laughs> so they do the. No, bad. <laughs> you can't go this way. Uh, no, that did not count as a full rest. Yep. I wonder if it will allow us to rest within this room. You close your eyes tonight, and visions of Candlekeep swim into view. As you pass through the gates of the Citadel, there is a flash of memory, and you are a child of only a few seasons once more. At your side is Borion. Gray-haired even all those years ago. How old must he have been to age so little in the time since? Aged as he ever was, you still have to run to keep up with him. He has an important meeting with Ulrant, the Keeper of the Tomes. An important meeting about you. Funny, you don't remember it. As you stand outside the doors of the Inner Keep, you can hear the shouting from within. Gorion seldom raised his voice, though you did not care to listen to the discussions at your previous stops either. 
As you trace patterns in the water of a fountain, a reflection distracts you from the argument. A large raven has perched atop a stone wall and stares directly at you with huge black eyes. You stare back through the mirror of the water and are suddenly afraid to meet the bird's gaze any other way. It has claws for feet. You think to yourself, little skeletal claws. The doors of the keep suddenly swing open and Ulrunt storms out. He glances at you for a moment but looks away as he speaks. You both can stay, he sneers. But mark my words, that child will be the death of you. A flash of memory once more, and Gorion walks out of the keep as he is today, dead. You drop your gaze back to the water so as not to see. The raven is gone, but your own image remains. Your eyes are black, like those of a bird. Like father, like child, the reflection says. You wake with a yell, predictably unrested. I've said it before, I'll say it again. As a producer, one of the most annoying things that you can do is have voiceover and text and the pacing of the voiceover not match the text. <laughs> so fucking... Like, having text go off screen when you haven't even gotten there in a voiceover is like... Oh, oh, that's like mind-boggling annoying. Um, anyways. Done. Yeah, 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 yeah! We are... Killed up. Fantastic. Let's do it. Uh, actually, let's first identify some stuff. Protection from electricity. Cool. Oh, you bet. Nature's servant awaits. There are so many places I would rather be as you direct. Yep. Hello there. Oh, it's Flidia. No, poor Flidia. Liked her. Or flip. Then. Yep, I remember. This is gonna be a fucking pain in the ass without a. Well, even. Yeah. Even with. We just gotta eat it, because without a without a thief, right? We don't have anything we can really do about it. I'm hurt. Woo! <laughs> Holy shit, y'all! Well, right now I just feel like fuck it. Let's uh, let's go check this bitch. Of course, it's locked. Why wouldn't it be? Fucking hey! Oh my god! Okay. So, I can buy. Send that over here. Identify. Tome of Understanding. Raises wisdom by one point permanently. Oh, honestly, probably just use that on. Ah! Batalista's Passport. Which I believe we have used in the past. Give up. Does that stack, or is that just whichever one is the highest? Let's check. Protection from fire. Does not say there. Fire resistance 60, it stacks. Cool. 
Okay, um, I guess let's try to heal ourselves up. from this horrendous nightmare. We follow the righteous path. The path of I'll just start carrying around more heal spells. You know, I actually have a whole bunch of, I say a whole bunch, probably don't have a whole bunch. I was going to say maybe I have a whole bunch of like health potions, but I don't think I do. I, I got a couple. Elixir of health. Uh, drink potion. All right, that was fun. Um, what is your wisdom? Your wisdom is only 10. Wisdom is actually one of my worst stats. Um, again, though, this is a character I can take through games, whereas everyone else and not taken not in the same way, so fuck it. Okay, so that was a horrendous nightmare. Jahira still has find traps on, so maybe... I... What's the point of a spell like that? What? This is this is a jank part about the game. Like this is absolutely a jank ass part about the game. Like come on, man. You're going to be like that. Like what the fuck? Didn't detect those. Didn't detect any of those traps. Sweet. Swank. Fucking Doperino! Hey. Oh. This is my greed is my hubris in this scenario. Yep. Let's get the fuck out of this. Oh, nope. Right. I walked away from stuff. Did it wear off? It had had to have worn off. Had to have worn off. Absolutely. Had. If that's the case, uh, I care a little bit less. Ajantas, go fucking exploring, buddy. Jesus Christ. That literally made me, like, jerk. Like, that actually made me, like, flinch and freak out. Um, what? Branwen is actually the better bet here. She actually has resistances across the board. She has less health right now, but... You know, with a good scrubbing and some bright new tapestries... This place wouldn't be so bad. That's a no. 
Boy, I don't know that this is worth... I don't know that this is worth me actually decking around with. Like, if I had a thief, maybe. Right? But, like, it would be really fucking painful. Yeah, that's only a flesh wound. Wow. Didn't seem like a flesh wound. Alright, so we know general ballpark of what's going on over there. Holy shit. Bunch of ghasts. Hey guys. We're ready to fight some ghasts, right? Yeah, I, f I feel like we're totally fight some ghasts. We've got this. Ghasts? Nothing special. Okay, maybe a little dicey. We are just using all of our fire arrows. Where do we have these? Copy note. Copy note. Um. Okay. Oh, you bet. All right. All right. I'm gonna go back here and see if I can't fucking sleep. <laughs> Oh my god. If we can just rest in here, is this safe haven? Seems like this is maybe safe haven. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Seems like this is ha safe haven. Cool. Alright. Well, that is good because we have to go ahead and finish this episode here. I will see you all next time. Bye, everybody.